Hey everyone, uh, my name is Andy. My channel is Finding Value. Uh, welcome if you're a new subscriber. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and click the thumbs up button if you like this content. Uh, today I'm going to go over a ratio update and show you how these ratios are changing. Uh, obviously this is how we value everything. So we want to make sure uh, that our valuations are either cheap, if we're continuing to buy, or if they're getting expensive and changing more towards a fairly valued expensive, it's mainly going to be underpriced to fairly valued. Uh, if we're going to stop buying and focus our efforts somewhere else. So let's take a look at ratio update and see what the ratios look like. So this is a ratio update. Uh, ratio update, uh, I'm going to go through the ratio updates for each commodity in relationship to gold. I'm going to go over the, the kind of the group commodity index to the S&P 500 index real time. Uh, I'm going to, you know, gold's moving higher and it might outperform the commodities for a little bit, but this is great because it's revaluing everything higher, if that makes sense. So when gold goes higher, these ratios are still going to compress over time. Uh, they're just gonna be going up higher and higher and higher as gold is gonna get revalued higher uh, from a declining dollar, and we should be seeing it in the 10 year where interest rates are gonna to wanna to go higher because of inflation. And I'll show you all of that in this update. Uh, and in my, in my opinion, what I am doing is this is the time to be aggressive and I'm loading up on shares of these undervalued companies. Uh, and in my opinion, everything is looking good overall and I'll show you that in all of these charts coming up. So the first chart is, this is the commodity index in relationship to the S&P 500. Uh, as you can see, we've got a nice little fan pattern here where it kind of just kept getting steeper and steeper as this thing sold off. Uh, for the COVID sell-off. But we are still extremely depressed uh, at, I would say, 100-year lows for the commodity index in relationship to stocks. And you can see it's just trending sideways. If we zoom in on this tip here to kind of look to see what's going on over here, this is what it looks like. And what I see is a bunch of bullishness, uh, which means we're in this chart pattern going sideways. You can see the pattern. You can see these gigantic up days, bullish engulfing, you know, that step up, pull back, step up, pull back, that, that nice kind of move. And we've got a big bullish engulfing and a bullish engulfing here. I think we're going to break out to the upside. What that means is that commodities are going to outperform the S&P 500. That is what this ratio is telling us. Uh, and it's at very, very cheap depressed prices, which means that commodities are extremely cheap on a whole basis in relationship to stocks. It means our thesis is intact and that we are buying the undervalued commodities uh, over time. And this is exactly where we want to be right now. We want to be buying commodities left and right as much as you can, in my opinion. And it will soon outperform stocks, very soon. This is the gold to copper ratio. And you can see that copper broke out of this gigantic chart pattern and has been outperforming gold. You can see this nice bullish engulfing at the bottom here. So more than likely gold's going to reverse for a little bit and come higher. This is good because it's going to revalue everything higher. And as these commodities start to uh, really break out against stocks and other, uh, other assets, they're going to outperform gold, but gold is going up at the same time. So you're going to see this uh, compression and expansion of the ratios over time as these cycle against each other. But overall, copper is going to outperform gold, I think, uh, overall in the next five, you know, five years or so. Or they're going to be running hand in hand. If they're running hand in hand, that means eventually copper is going to outperform even later. Here's the gold to silver ratio. And you can see we popped out on the bottom here. We're still at 75, which is extremely cheap. And we popped out of this little uh, chart pattern. And we're, we're going to start seeing a large move in silver, I think very, very soon, like next day, couple of days, or a week. So silver is one to look, in, look into, and silver companies I would suggest looking into to purchase. Silver mining companies, that is. Next is the gold to platinum ratio. And you can see that the platinum is outperforming. Whatever's on the bottom is going to outperform when this is going down. Platinum's outperforming gold. And what this means, this ratio means something. When cop, I'm going to go back. Co when copper outperforms gold, it means the economy is recovering and we're going into an inflationary phase. When platinum is outperforming gold, it means the same thing. It means that this, 
this evidence is stacking up against um, inflation coming and the stock market underperforming, stocks being just regular stocks. Commodities are gonna be outperforming here, and this is where you wanna be. That's what all these ratios are telling us. So platinum, it's still a really good buy at 1.81. That is still a, an exp inexpensive uh, ratio. Platinum is inexpensive to gold, and I would still be accumulating platinum. Here is gold to, to oil ratio. You can see the oil uh, oil's outperforming gold. It popped out, it's at 40 but it has popped higher here. It looks like gold is outperforming uh, oil on a very short-term basis. And I expect this to actually go higher. Uh, and what's gonna happen is oil is gonna go up, but we have a surplus of oil right now. It's not, it's not a, uh, I would say it's not a, a great environment for oil yet. It's still recovering. Gold and silver are gonna go much higher. So what's gonna happen is this ratio is probably, the price of oil will probably stay 40, 50-ish dollars. And I think gold and silver are gonna take off here. This ratio is gonna expand, it's gonna get uh, cheaper. Gold's gonna get, or oil's gonna get cheaper in relationship to gold, but oil's not gonna go anywhere in terms of dollar pricing. So it's gonna be better for the oil companies because they can still pay off all of their uh, debts because debts are gonna be fixed here and they're gonna be at low interest rates. And uh, those debts will be inflated away when the, when the dollar declines. Oil is gonna eventually make up and compress this ratio to a smaller and smaller number, and it's gonna compress going down uh, over the next five, six, seven years, I think. And you're gonna see a massive outperformance of oil at the end of this uh, commodity bull market. It's gonna go absolutely insane. Here is the platinum to palladium ratio, and you can tell when this goes higher, palladium or platinum is outperforming palladium. And we're right at the upper level here, at that upper chart pattern. When this breaks, it means that platinum is outperforming palladium. And I just put a circle here. That's when I traded my palladium for platinum was right here. It was either right here or right here. I can't remember. But it was right around this 0.34 mark. So that is looking good for platinum. Platinum is looking exceptionally good. And this is the price of platinum, just to show you on a price basis to dollars. Uh, we broke out of this big chart pattern. That's good because it's gonna put a lot of momentum higher and go right up against this uh, other large pattern. I said a 1050, if we get up here, that's a clean break. So I think it's gonna go up there. I think it's gonna test it and we'll see if it breaks out. If it breaks out, we're gonna move a lot higher. Platinum, that is, in terms of dollars. Here's the, the silver price. We're in this gigantic ratio. I think it popped up higher. It was up right on this uh, top uh, portion of the channel. I think we're going to see a big move higher out of silver, probably tomorrow or two days from now, but you're going to see it move a lot higher. This is the time to get into some sil silver companies. I've loaded up. I, what I've done is I've purchased a lot of mining companies. Uh, I've been cost averaging in. I've been getting my Teuton Resources, Discovery Metals, uh, Free Gold Ventures. I'm getting all that stuff and I'm loading up. And when this thing breaks, we are going to move very high. This is gonna be a big move. This is gonna be like a $39 price or $35 price very quickly. So you might see this touch $40 an ounce or something. It moves very fast. So I'm loaded up, I'm ready to go. Uh, if this thing goes, I am, my, my portfolio is going to love me. Now here's the price of the, of the dollar. Uh, I did a little chart pattern here. It broke out to the downside. We consolidated a little bit here, broke out again to the downside. Uh, dollar's going lower. Uh, looks like those guys that are deflationists are wrong. And they have been wrong ever since this J July, August timeframe. And even though we were consolidating in gold, it means that gold's going higher. Silver's going higher. Dollar's going down. And I'm sure that real estate's going to continue to go higher. It's going to outperform. Uh, you might see some of the metrics go, go a little bit worse because there's no inventory to sell. There is no inventory. So you're going to see pendings go down, contracts probably go down because there's nothing out there to sell. But prices are going to continue to go higher in real estate, which is going to put pressure on this dollar. Uh, here's the 10-year um, treasury yield. It is going higher. Like I said, back here, I said, this looks like it's going to go higher. Boom, it's going higher. They're going to try to suppress this. So we'll see what happens with the 10-year. So we've got lots of movements and ratios, lots of outperformance of commodities against gold. Gold will move higher, elevating everything higher in dollar terms. We've got the dollar going down. Gold's gonna account for the dollar going down. Everything else is gonna outperform in relationship to gold over the long run. Doesn't mean that 
every single week this is going to happen. You're going to have pullbacks. Things are going to compress and expand over time. But it's good because when, the, when gold goes higher, it definitely means we're in a commodity environment where it's going to be favorable for commodities. Uh, commodities are still highly depressed at 100-year lows, and the dollar's going lower. So this is very, very good. So we've got the dollar indexes down. We've got the 10-year yields going higher. This is confirming everything. And we're getting larger negative rates. Larger negative rates are going to push commodities way higher. That is what it means. Ratios will continue to expand and compress over time with a slight favor to compressing against gold, which means they're going to outperform gold over the long run. Lots of patterns are broken and some still need to break out and will probably break very soon. And I'm talking about the platinum price, the silver price. We are going to see some big moves coming up. It's time to position strategically in your favorite companies or indexes or whatever you like now. Position now into those favorite companies. So I think we summed it up pretty good here. We've got a lot of ratios. You can see how, this, how these ratios are moving over time. You're seeing the outperformance of platinum real time. You're seeing why I am highly invested in some of these uh, assets because they're so undervalued. And when you have that undervaluation, that is opportunity. And I'm gonna go through another clip. I'm gonna just give a little snippet here. Do not follow price. Price is not a justification of value. That is where a lot of people get it wrong. I'm gonna do an entire clip on this. Value is what you're interested in. Price will chase value. And depending on market conditions, things will get, will get priced differently under different market conditions, if that makes sense. We are coming up to higher inflation, which when interest rates go higher, all of those stocks are going to be overvalued because they're going to be priced in a different market condition environment. I'll do an entire clip on that and what's coming up. If you enjoy this content, please subscribe, click the thumbs up button. I appreciate you guys listening. This is Finding Value.